See if there are any guards around. Can see them. Sam Fisher, you are under arrest for acts of terrorism against the United States of America. Did you really think you could betray the NSA and get away with it, Fisher? That guy couldn't betray the NSA. He's a legend. He was in the SEALs the same time as my father in Colombia. I heard one time he went into a guerrilla camp on his own to rescue one of our guys. Damnest thing I ever heard. Recon reports indicate the guerrillas ambushed a unit of local forces and wiped them out. Our liaison to the unit, Lieutenant Shetland, is missing. That means the guerrillas have him, Captain. We've got to get him back. We're planning a rescue for later tonight. We don't have that much time. Shetland possesses classified information. If the guerrillas torture him and get those secrets... If we go out there half-cocked, we'll walk right into another ambush. Now, this isn't open to discussion. No one leaves the space and that's an order. You may not have noticed me, but I'm not a specialized. And my responsibility is to keep Shepard from revealing what he knows. If you leave this base, Fisher, you're on your own. I was hoping you'd say that. Watch where you step. Remember? Mistake of your life, Yankee! Ah! Santiago here. Yes, all secure. The new prisoner is awake. The moment to take him to the interrogation. Very well.
Fisher! Man, I'm glad to see you. Where's everyone else? It's just me, buddy. Budget cuts. You know how it is. You're here against orders, aren't you? Captain Moore is gonna have your hide for this. No good deed goes unpunished. <laughs> Any idea where I might be able to find my gear? Uh, there's a storage room somewhere around here. The code is 7802. I'll find it. Get the hell out of here. I'm right behind you.
hate this place. Nothing but bugs and snakes and rain. I wish I was back in Bogota. What did you do to wind up here? <laughs> you know Estevez, the group leader? Oh yeah, he's a real killer. He also has a younger sister, Julia. daughter's death that pushed Fisher over the edge. He disappeared from sight after her funeral, then turned up several months later in the company of Emile Dufresne. The same Dufresne who was behind the recent terrorist attacks? My god. You think Fisher helped them? That's what you're here to find out. Yes, sir. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I just heard the news. I've been reviewing the old mission files and I found that a number of them have been tampered with. I've got the Caspian Sea mission file as an example. The file says that Fisher was almost killed when U.S. forces attacked in the middle of the operation, and he went on record blaming Lambert and the NSA for it. Frankly, sir, that's a lie. This is how it really happened. Fisher, we 
You've uploaded your mission objectives. Grim's daughter says the rig's encryption protocols are bulletproof. So we're gonna have to let one of the technological geeks log on to get a chance at any intelligence. Why would they be holding on to this rig? It's not Nikolaj's smartest play. That's what got our attention. Nikolaj is sacrificing several cells to hold on to it, so whatever's coming over the network must be critical. Mission objectives are your offset. We were on hostile forces. We're blowing the bridge immediately. Repeat, blowing the bridge. are imminent. We'll keep you updated. We're under attack! We sustain heavy damage to...
You're going after that technician, Joseph. You want the briefcase that's chained with wrist. You downloaded the data to that? We're laptop off inside it. Use whatever force necessary. Incoming American warplane! What makes this worth the risk? Who the hell are you? Don't ask any more questions. Answers only and fast. I understand. Why risk manually extracting data from a battle zone? It was the only way. We encrypted with a non-transferable destroy on use hard key. What's the data? I'm just a messenger. I don't know. Something about an ark. What's that? I don't know. What Nicolades wants most. Where were you going to take the briefcase? I don't know. I wasn't going to find out until I was on board the escape ship. Mass is a complete control freak. Mass? Please, I don't want to. Ah! Philip Mass, Nicolades is lead programmer. Good job, Fisher. Time to make yourself scarce. Mr. Fisher, I'm Agent Blake. I'm here to ask you some questions. Your old boss took a sudden leave of absence after you disappeared. Did he know you were planning to join a terrorist organization? Why don't you ask him? All right, smart guy, let's try another question. Tell me about those civilians you murdered in Yugoslavia back in 99. You mean the men with the AK-47s that were holding the UN hostage? Missiles are stored in five Russian military containers, Sam. They should be easy to find among the civilian cargo. Plant the bombs on them and get clear. How much time do I have after I plant the last bomb? Not long. Don't waste any time once you've planted the last bomb. Stealth is vital here. The guards are all on edge, so if any of them sound the alarm, the mission is over. Good luck, Sam. Hey, why don't I get the radio? Just join the militia. You haven't proven yourself yet. What does that have to do with anything? What happens if I see somebody? How do I call you? If you see somebody, shoot them. Do I have to explain everything to you? So, you think I might get ready? If you weren't my cousin, Maxim, I swear. Look alive. You should be nearing one of the crates now.
Ma'am, we've received a new directive. Intelligence assets in Belgrave City report that there may be information on that ship that identifies where those missiles came from and we sold them to the Serbians. We need to find that data if we can. Just don't tell me it's hidden in another one of these crates. No, the ship's captain would be the one that would have access to that information. Maybe on a personal computer somewhere on board. Okay. What was that? I don't know. Maybe a rat. Rats don't make that much noise. So, maybe it's a big rat. Idiot. Will you get that damn light off me? What's the matter? Don't you like being able to see where you're going? Quit messing around! Every sniper in the city can see me! You want to get me killed? Relax, you worry too much. What was that? I can't tell. Some fool is shining a spotlight in my eyes. It's gone now, whatever it was. Great job, Fisher. That's just what we need. Good work, Sam. This should tell us exactly how the Russians are getting the missiles to the Serbs.
Okay, Sam, get off that ship now. We need to detonate those crates immediately. Roger that, I'm gone. Who the hell does Radovich think he is talking about my girlfriend like that? He's lucky I didn't stick my pistol in his face right then and there. If it wasn't for the sergeant protecting him, I would have shot him a long time ago. He better watch his back though. So, Captain, I was thinking, none of us have been paid in a few months now, and I was wondering if I could get a loan. Oh no, that won't work. Good work, Sam. Deprived the militia of their new missiles. There's still the matter of the SAM launcher itself. You've got a recon flight passing overhead in a few minutes. And that launcher needs to be put out of action right away. No rest for the wicked. I'm on my way. Okay, Sam. We've taken care of the replacement missiles. Now we go for the launcher itself. NATO Air Command has informed us that a crucial reconnaissance flight will be heading over the area any minute. Neutralize the SAM operator and destroy the launcher or the targeting computer before our recon plane gets within range of their missile. Shouldn't be a problem. If you can locate their radar and take it out, they'll have to go to IR mode. We'll shorten their firing range and buy you some more time to take out the launcher before the plane is in range. I've shut down the electrical panel. We've got a backup generator down here. Any idea how to sabotage it? Don't worry about it. By the time they get it up and running, you should be well past that door. Is the radar working? Pretty much. I need to run just a few more tests to be sure. It would be a lot easier if the power would stay on. Yeah, tell me about it. If you need any help, let me know. Okay, thanks. Scratch one radar. Excellent. That will force them to go to infrared tracking and greatly reduce their firing range. You just bought yourself some more time. What's going on here? back on. It was only a matter of time, Sam. You're past the door and that's what matters. Stay focused on the mission. and hostage the Serbians are using to keep NATO from bombing the SAM site. I think I can take out his guards. Maybe give him a chance to escape. That's it, the hostage is loose. I'm exhausted. What time is it? Good work. We'll coordinate with NATO to extract him. Proceed with the mission. I don't know. Close to midnight, I think. Affirmative. Uh, I haven't slept in 36 hours. Can you cover for me while I catch a nap? No problem. I'll wake you if something happens. Thanks, man. I owe you one.
You should be able to see the SAM launcher from where you are, Fisher. It's kind of hard to miss. The best way to neutralize it would be to aim at the targeting computer. There's also a weak point on the missile fuselage. Find it basically with your thermals. It's very hot. Good work, Fisher. That site has been a thorn in NATO's side for months. Anything else I can do? No. The mission is completed. Get to the extraction point. We'll be there to pick you up. Who's that? Why are we always on the night shift? It's been more than two weeks. Because you keep mouthing off to the sergeant, that's why. And I have to suffer with you. The guy steals my stuff. If he does it again, I'm going to put a grenade under his... William, sir, we may have a problem. Agent Grimm's daughter has restored the mission files and is performing a number of complicated searches in the system. Cut the crap, Fisher! We found the murder weapon, and it's got your prints on it. Lambert knew you were about to betray the agency, and you killed him. And another NSA agent figured out what you were up to, and you silenced him as well. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. No? Then why don't you tell me what happened in Warsaw, Indiana? Sam, our intel on the arms deal is sketchy, so we need to locate the meeting as soon as possible. It could be happening at any time, and watch your step. It's possible they know you're coming. How is that possible? The weapons they're selling are NSA issue, SC-20Ks and FN-7s. Meaning there's a double agent within third echelon. It's a definite possibility. Don't take any unnecessary risks and avoid detection until the deal has been concluded and the buyer contacts his boss. So we're going to trace the arms deal to its destination. Exactly. And be on the lookout for steel workers inside the foundry. They run shifts around the clock, so avoid civilian casualties. This isn't a price we agreed on. I warned you this might happen. With all the crackdowns lately, it's a seller's market. If you can't pay, we can find someone else. No, I'll pay. Don't really have much of a choice now, do I? Nothing personal, friend. Just the cost of doing business. Let's get this done. All right, there you are. Everything should be in order. We'll load the crates onto the truck out front. I've got to step out and confirm the deal with my boss. Cell phone reception in here is lousy. Okay, looks good. George, we need to send the email confirmation of the deal right away. The boss expected to hear from us ten minutes ago. Let's go then. Nice doing business with you. Good work, Sam. Now we've got preliminary profiles on the buyers and the arms dealers. It's imperative you get outside and laser mic the buyer's call to their boss. I could take them out right now. Catch all four of them and keep the guns from getting into the wrong hands. The guns aren't why you're there, Fisher. We need intel on the network. Get outside and tap that phone call.
on the way. time they got here. This place makes me nervous. Why is that? All the damn noise. The feds could be right on top of us and we'd never hear it until it was too late. I never thought of it. Right now I'm nervous. You better be. If we get caught with these guns, we'll go to jail for life. We're talking federal time. No parole. See, that's why we've got to bring those bastards down. Turn this country to the God-fearing citizens and... Will you quit with the lectures and pay attention for a change? We got a job to do. electronic emissions in your vicinity. Looks like the arms dealer accessed a computer in one of the rooms nearby. If you can locate the server and hack it, we can learn a lot about their network. I don't exactly have all the time in the world here. Use your discretion, Fisher. Your primary objective is tapping the cell phone call outside. If you can manage that and still reach the server, do so. But don't compromise the mission to do it. Heads up, people. We just got word from our resident geek that somebody's hacked our server. No idea if it's the feds or not, but be ready to move on a moment's notice. The vestibule looks like an ideal place to laser mic the phone call, but you need to get into position quickly. I'm on it. We're only going to get one shot at this, a low profile. If one of the guards sees you or stumbles across a body, all hell is going to break loose.
Colonel Matthews, it's Ernest. Yes, sir, the deal's been closed. They jacked up the price about 10, pretty much what we expected. Everything's there. SC-20K rifles, FN-7s, and grenades. We should be moving out shortly. I expect we'll drive all night and be at the warehouse in Boise by about 0630 local. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. See you there. All right, Fisher, that's got it. Good work. Do I proceed to the extraction point? Negative. You wanted a crack at those dealers, and now you've got it. Terminate them. Once you've taken care of them, there's an exit on the side leading to another garage where Agent Fraser is waiting. The Colonel is really... Watch out for Fraser. There's a good chance he's planning an ambush. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. He's in for a little surprise. If you can bring him in for interrogation, he could tell us a lot about this arms network. But don't take any unnecessary risks. Take him out any way you see fit. Looks like we found our mole, Fisher. Take him down. I'm way ahead of you. Nobody likes a traitor, Agent Fraser. What does it take to make a man turn on his own country? What else? Money. Lots of it. It's the American way, Fisher. What were you gonna do? Make it look like I was the mole and then shoot me at the extraction point? You've gotta admit, the plan had a certain elegance to it. Almost worked, too. Who are you working with, Fraser? Start giving me names while all your fingers and toes are still attached. Spare me the tough guy crap, Fisher. It's not gonna work on me. We don't have time for this now, Sam. Load the son of a bitch on the truck and bring him in for a proper interrogation. He'll be singing a different tune soon enough. Guess it's your lucky day, Fraser. My methods would have been a lot less pleasant. Got something to tell me? You heard the fat man. Put me in the truck. I got nothing else to say to you. Got something to tell me? You heard the fat man. Excellent work, Sam. We couldn't have asked for a better outcome. All in the day's work. Okay, I've cracked the access log. Let's see who's been modifying the mission files. Oh no. What? It's Williams. He's just modified the New York mission file. He added comments using Lambert's access code that says Fisher killed several National Guardsmen during the riots. That's nuts. It was the Guardsmen who were shooting at everything that moved. I know because I was out there with Sam that night. Fisher, the National Guard was deployed into Manhattan about an hour ago. I feel safer already. Watch your fire, Sam. Those boys aren't expecting to see you and they'll attack on sight. Do not, I repeat, do not kill any of them. I'll be careful. Good. You have enough light down here? I think so. These barricade lights are battery operated, so they should be okay. I have flares too if I need them. All right, then we'll concentrate on getting power to the CP before we break out to the perimeter. Sounds good. National Guard are trying to restore the power to the building's elevator. It's probably your best way to the top. I'll see if I can hitch a ride. It'll be a long climb if you don't.
can't figure out? Like, the entire city is dark, right? Yeah. But this guy over here, all his lights are on. How can that be? Well, the richer you get, the more paranoid you get. The guy probably has his own generator so he can keep his security system running. Security system? Who's gonna climb 15 floors to break into his apartment? Like I said, paranoid. <laughs> Fisher, satellite shows you've reached the Casey building. County clerk's office has construction permits on file for the floors below the penthouse and in the neighboring structure. Any plans or blueprints on file? I'll have Grimm look into it, but with this blackout. I understand. I'll see if I can dig up some plans down here. Good idea. Fisher, that's a hired gun if I've ever seen one. Can you turn down the volume on that radio? It's driving me nuts. Well, I like it like that. Go listen to it somewhere else, then. I can't take it anymore. Why don't you go somewhere else? Yeah, whatever. Hmm. Work permits, architectural plans. Interesting. Zerkezi has a hardened panic room off of his bedroom. I'll check it out. Fisher, Zerkezi's cameras project an infrared beam so they can see in the dark. If it's an infrared beam, I can see it in my night vision. Hey, I don't recognize you. How long have you been with this place? Three months. I just got transferred up from Peru. I was on the, um, <clears throat> VIP detail down there. Ah, so you're already, uh, in the loop. Yeah, me and, uh, well, you know, we go way back. Well, stick with us. We know how to get things done. I know. Like I say, we go way back. Right. Great job, Sam. You've disabled all the cameras in the penthouse. Uh-oh. What? All these mercenaries we've been seeing? Yeah. Turns out they work for Displace International. Displace? That's Doug Shetland's company. I know. Fisher, if Shetland turns out to be crooked, if Shetland is crooked, I'll take him down myself, but I have a feeling there's more to it than that. Could be. See if you can find out who's in charge of this protection detail. Maybe someone inside this place is playing both sides. You got it.
pretty much confirms it. These records show Zerkezi has a long history of transactions with the MCAS Bank in Panama. Is he the one who shipped the arms to Lacerda's goons? It doesn't matter much now. We'll need to bring him in for a chat either way. All right. This, he's in the same building. You can get there across the rooftop through the magnetically locked doors. How do I get through the doors? They're not magnetically locked anymore. Thanks for the help. Have you known him? A long time, a long time. Since before this place. <laughs> Since before Bosnia. Before Bosnia? Good lord. I knew he had connections, but. Uh... Yep. Know him a long time. He treats us good, we do what he says. Yes, yes, well, he sure treats us well. Now you know too. Now you work for him. Do what he says. Yes, well, certainly worth my while now, isn't it? More than worth your while. It'll keep you alive, man. I'm allergic to flowers. Maybe you should talk before I sneeze and accidentally cut your throat. Oh, God! I'll tell you anything! Good. Start with your boss. What's his name? Medich! Mylon Medich! He's in charge of all our VIP protection contracts. And how many of those under his protection has he killed in the last, say, six weeks? What? What kind of scam is he running? I, I, I don't know about any scam. I swear. Mylon Nedich. Echelon's got nothing. He doesn't even exist. Hmm. Uh, whoever he is, he's playing both sides. We need to inform Shetland. No can do, Sam. We can't compromise OPSEC for private interests. Fine. If I find Nedich, it'll be less of a problem. Admirable of you to protect your friend, but... You said he doesn't exist. I'm just correcting a bureaucratic error.
you guys know what this huge thing is used for? No idea. Hurry up. It's your turn to play. Quiet! I'm thinking. And why is it so old? The guy can surely afford a new computer. It's probably so old that no one can hack into it. Best security you can get. Your turn. Lambert, what the hell is this thing? Grim? It looks like a finite state machine. Weird academic 60s era university basement crap. And what is this? This Dvorak? No wonder I couldn't hack into it. What should I do? If Circassi is using this. Grim. Sorry, uh, Sam, we're gonna need a copy of Dvorak's output so we can work out the algorithm it's built on. All right, I've got the stack. Fisher, judging by what we just saw, I think that's an infinite state machine, not a finite state machine. What's the difference? This one is self-referential. Each output stack is a logical instruction set that tells the machine to recurse itself and derive a more accurate set of instructions for the next execution cycle. Fascinating. Can I go now? Good work, Fisher. Time to make yourself scarce. Get to your primary extraction point. On my way. Fisher, stay where you are. The helicopter should be there to pick you up in a minute. What have you got there, Anna? Looks interesting. Just some research I'm doing. Nothing important. Give me the CD, Anna. I know what you're up to, Mr. Williams. Do you? Then you know what I'm capable of doing to people who get in my way. Don't be one of those people, Anna. Forget this conversation ever happened. My lips said he'd arrange to leave some presents for me here in my cell. Time to see what Santa brought. Slick work, Lambert. Feeling better already. Let's have a talk with Jamie and get the hell out of here. Recreation period. All inmates step away from the cell doors. Stand by to unlock doors in cell block B. What the hell are you looking at, new meat? I heard you were looking to take a walk. I'm busting out of here first chance I get, but I just got transferred here and I don't know the place. Seems like you and me could work something out. Kiss my ass, new meat. I don't know who the hell you are. You could be a guard for all I know. Fair enough. How about a show of good faith? There's gotta be something I can do to show you I'm serious. Okay, I'll tell you what. There's this guy I want killed. Bastard ratted me out to the feds. And now I've got to stare at his ugly face every day. That ain't right. Where do I find this guy? He's in the showers right now. Little weasel's named Mikey. I've got a knife here you can gut him with. Just be sure to tell him Jamie says hi before you stick him. Once he's dead, you and me can talk plans. Lambert warned me that I may have to do something like this. Just knock the guy out. But we'll put the mission at risk. Back off, big guy. Hey, I'm just looking for a little conversation. How'd you wind up in here? Got in a shootout with the feds. Killed two men before they nabbed me. You shot two feds and you're not on death row. I cut a deal. Gave up the name of a guy I knew and got life in prison instead. Beats the electric chair. At least in here I'll die of old age. Think so? 
rats don't live long behind bars. What was the name of the guy you sold up? Big ugly bastard named Jamie Washington. Jamie? I know him. He sends his regards. Is there something else you need? Is there something else you need? I told you I didn't want to see your ass till Mikey was dead. I found him and gave him your message. He's on the floor of the shower room. You're full of it. Want to go see for yourself? Damn right I do, and if you're lying, I'll rip your damn tongue out. Lockdown and self-lock me. All inmates back to their cells for a lockdown. Officers Miles and Baker investigate reports of disturbance in the showers in cell block B. I don't believe it. How did you do that? Don't ever doubt me again, pal. Now I've done something for you. What can you do for me? Man, there's a lot Jamie Washington can do for you. Once we get out of here, I'm gonna hook you up with my crew. We can use someone like you. Interested? Hell yeah, I'm interested. But right now we're still inmates. How are we gonna change that? I got a plan, sort of. If we can get to the roof, we're home free. But I don't know how we're gonna get past all the guards. You got the skills we need though, right? If you took care of Mikey, you must be pretty hardcore. I'll bet you say that to all the boys. You're a smart ass. I like that. What's your name? Sam Fisher. Okay, Sam. We just need to wait for the right opportunity to make our move. Then it's all up to you. Code 14. Riots in cell blocks A and C. All personnel report for response plan Alpha. Code 14. Oh, man. This is just too good to be true. What? You must have started a riot when you killed Mikey. This is perfect. We should escape right now. Can you get us out of this cell? No problem. Just keep a lookout for the guards. All right. Go, man. Go! the knife, I'll make us a little diversion to get the guard's attention. While they're yelling at me, you slip into the room and kill him. Just make sure you give me enough time to get the door open. No problem, man. Watch this. Open the doors, man. The dudes in here have gone nuts. They're piling up the mattresses and trying to set them on fire. You've got to get in here and stop them. I don't want to burn in here, man. Open the doors. Get back to your cell right now, convict. We're in a lockdown and you're asking to wind up in cell. Did you hear what I said? They're setting fire to the whole cell block. If you don't do something quick, we're all gonna burn. How do you think that's gonna make you look? Hey, Roberts, you getting anything on the cameras and block? Hang on. No, everything looks quiet. That guy's trying to pull one over on you. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm new, but I'm not stupid. Nice try! Dude, there's gonna be a fire. I don't care what those cameras say. All right, all right! Hard ass. I've seen the guards do this a thousand times. We both have to hit the switch at the exact same time to get to the stairs. On three. Ready? Ready. One, two, three! OK, 
Okay, we gotta take these dudes out. I'll take the guy on the left, you get the guy in the observation room. All right, let's do it. Man, I'm glad I'm down here and not out there dealing with the riot. Are you kidding? We could be out there busting heads. Easy for you to say. You've never had to put down a riot. Those convicts can mess you up if you're not careful. Not me. There's not a convict in this place that can lay a hand on me. Whatever you say, tough guy. Go report into the observation room that we cleared the minimum security section. Okay, whatever. Can't believe I'm stuck down here with you when all the action is happening right next door. One day you'll thank me, kid. Head for the laundry room, man. Don't stop till you get there. Attention, all personnel. We've got a prison. They're loose in the laundry room. Cell block B. side of the cart. Got it? I don't like it, but I guess we don't have a choice. Trust me, they'll fall for it. I'll get the cart and wait for you at the door. Convict, what the hell do you think you're doing? Dinner time, Chief. I got the meals for cell block A here. We're in lockdown right now. You're supposed to be back in your cell. Say what? When did this happen? We didn't hear anything in the kitchen about this. Maybe the intercom is busted again. Step away from the cart. You're going back to your cell until we get this straightened out. Almost home free. All we have to do is get to the roof. I bribed a guard to plant a flare gun up there a few weeks back. I can use it to call in our ride. Sounds like you've been planning this for a while. Guess it's lucky for me I came along when I did. 
got that right, man. You were the last piece to the master plan. Now we just gotta get to the roof and we're home free. Right behind you. so I can reach it. Then you can climb on my back and make it up there. Convicts get themselves killed. ever just knock like a normal person? I miss you too. Anna's learned that Williams is trying to frame you for Lambert's death, Sam. We know it wasn't you. I killed him, Anna. I had no choice. Glad to see you back, Sam. Watch out for a meal. Something's happening. He's in one of his moods. Thanks for the tip. I'll try to lay low. Am I too late?
What the hell do you think you're doing? You're supposed to be guarding this office. If Emil caught you sleeping on duty, he'd shoot you and feed you to the gators. Sorry! It won't happen again, I swear! Can't count on anybody these days. Now that was close. This is awful, man. It burns. I won't be able to go if you stay here. <coughs> Seen this guy before, Sam? Are you kidding? They all look alike to me. He's a CIA agent, but you know all about that, don't you? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Moss. This man isn't a field agent. He's here supporting an agent that's infiltrated our organization. And we know who he is. I got the guy on tape, right here. Do you think they suspect you? The brain does it, but Moss is a suspicious bastard. We need proof of what they're up to. What can you get? I don't know. There may be files in the frame's office. Okay, what about Moss? Will he be trouble? I can take care of him if I have to. All right, just get me those files. I'm on it. Wish me luck. What the hell, Moss? You said it was Sam talking to this clown. But that's not a... I, I mean, I was sure it was Sam. Fisher, finish this guy. What are you waiting for? You think I'm afraid to die? Go on, get it over with. Shut up. Well, Sam, what are you waiting for? Excellent. I knew you were one of us. I'm sorry, Sam. That must have been terrible. None of that matters right now. We've got to get that CD back. So, we just have to break into the most heavily secured sector of one of the most heavily guarded buildings in the world. Well, I guess we'd better get busy. Sam Fisher! We know you're in there! Open the door or we'll blow it open! This is your only warning! He's not gonna do it! Let's move in while we've got him cornered! All right, set the charges. You hear that, Sam? We're coming in. This is your last chance to surrender. Give me just a couple more minutes. I just need to set the indicator. Looks like I stirred up the hornet's nest in here. Better find a radio so I can get Grimm's daughter to guide me past the guards. I don't believe this. You know I was supposed to be off today. Oh, man. Sam, what happened? There was an explosion. The guards here don't like to knock. Now where do I go from here? We've got to get you past the guards on this floor and find a way up to the executive level. I'm tapped into the security network for now and I can follow their movements, but I don't know for how long. Then let's get to work. 
How do I get to Williams' office? The best route from where you are is to take the elevator. Head back to the janitor's room and then go through the door. On my way. Okay, Sam. You're standing at a circular hallway. The door you want is on the opposite side. Roger that. Hang on. I'm getting radio chatter on the security net. There are two guards in position outside Williams' office. Is there any way to get past them? Not that I can see from here. Look around and see if you can figure out an alternate route. Great job, Sam. Looks like you're back on track. Where do I go from here? Follow the hall past the server room. The elevator should be just around the corner. so good. Oh, great. Sam, we've got a problem. I knew this was going too well. They've recently added a fingerprint lock to the elevator. Okay, good. Wait right there for a minute. Do you think Fisher's still in the building? Hard to say. No one spotted him near any of the exits yet. He might just be laying low, waiting for us to lower our guard. Nah, I don't think so. He's after something. What makes you think so? If he wanted out, he'd be done by now. We'd find a couple of unconscious guards and an open door, and that would be that. He's really that good? You don't live as long as he has, unless you're the best. So what do we do? Stay alert and hope he makes a mistake. It could happen. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Okay, now for the good news. William's office is close by. And the bad news is? There's a lot of guard activity on this floor. You're gonna have to be really careful to get past them. You know me, Anna. Yeah, that's what worries me. Watch it, Sam. I've got one guard heading your way down the hall. Sam, I've got guards at your back, too. They've got you boxed in. Find a place to hide. Fast!
We've got a problem. I'm still working on the last problem you gave me. Listen. Security's detected our radio traffic. They're trying to jam our transmissions. Skipping frequencies to try and get a signal through, but it's not working. Guards outside will leave the door. We can't go that way. We're gonna have to get me and find a new route. There's a ladder. So much for my guardian angel. Now, where's that ladder she was talking about? Come on, come on. Hello? 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 Who the hell is this? Fisher, is that you? I've got the CD, Williams. And once I've learned why you're trying to frame me, you and I are going to meet again. You won't get away with this, you son of a bitch. We caught you once, we'll catch you again. And next time, you might just end up with a bullet in your head. I'll take my chances. Unlike you, I've got nothing to lose. You can't hide from us, Fisher. We're the NSA. We're always listening, always watching. There's nowhere on Earth you'll be safe. You want to know how to find me, Williams? Keep looking over your shoulder. And when the time comes, I'll be there.